What's going on guys? We're back working on the Hemiswap Jeep Renegade. In this part of the build, we're going to be working on a few issues with the front suspension. I mentioned in the previous episode that I had an alignment issue between the driver's side and the passenger side wheel. The passenger side is more forward than the driver's side, so we're going to have to figure out what the actual issue is. In order to remove all variables, I'm going to go ahead and replace the upper control arms and the two lower control arms. And since I already have AAD Performance 6 piston Brembo conversion, I figure I might as well go with them for the rest of the suspension on the front end. Eventually I'll get on the back, but uh, no, I don't have the funds for that right now. <laughs> so I guess we'll go ahead and start tearing this apart. I'll have to start off by taking the wheels off first. I'm not sure if I'll do the upper control arms first or go after the lowers. We'll see what I get into, what I feel like. But first, let's go ahead, bust open these boxes and see what we got. All right, so let's do a quick unboxing on these arms. These should be the front, lower, rear arms. Yeah. Oh man, this is... Uh, Solid build aluminum, spherical bearings, polyurethane bushings, just beautiful machine work. Yeah, this should be a pretty straightforward install. So we'll go ahead, put these back in the box, bust out the other ones. All right, and these should be the lower front arms. They are, uh, yeah, front lower tension arms. So we'll bust these open. And uh, again, just beautiful machine work, solid build aluminum, nice weight savings, pockets cut in there. And <laughs> hell yeah, and the even etched passenger side. So even someone like me can figure this out. But uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and put these back in the box. Check out the next ones, uh, the parts that I'm most excited for. And these are the upper control arms. Oh, hell yeah. Got a free koozie and a sticker. Nice. So take out the packaging. And here we go. Billet aluminum upper control arms. Pockets for weight savings. These things are, oh man, these... These are some nice arms. And you'll see here, this here is for adjusting the camber. You can take these bolts out, replace these little pieces here. You can see that has a bolt hole there, various offsets. So you can adjust the camber in and out. I think a few millimeters each way, but uh, I'm gonna start out with zero offset for now, just so I can figure out what my alignment issue is. Because again, I built this whole car from the ground up. In case I didn't clarify, the front suspension is all Dodge Charger, mostly uh, highly modified though. I had to take the strut towers, relocate them back about four and a half inches, along with a lower subframe. I had to fabricate that whole thing myself. I had to keep the motor mounts in the same position, but relocate the arms back four and a half inches to match the strut towers as well. So there might be some issues here or there. Uh, I jigged everything up. It should have been straight, but I'm not sure what's going on. I figured the easiest way is to replace everything with high quality parts, get rid of all variables, and uh, we'll go from there. And hopefully that sorts out our issue or at least helps us figure out where the issue is. Uh, maybe on that lower subframe that I made. I did include a lot of adjustment points on the lower control arms as well. I can slide those in and out. So that could be where my issues are, but I figure uh, shiny parts can't go wrong. <laughs> oh, don't scratch it.
So I went ahead, took all the front suspension off of here, except for the front strut. Uh, I learned on the other side, uh, it was a lot easier just to get everything out of the way. Drop the spindle, drop the uh, rear control arm, the front control arm, and uh, drop the upper control arm. Now all we got to do is start replacing everything. Going to go ahead from the top and then uh, put the lower arms in after that. But uh, that's it. It's a pretty easy job. Just takes a little bit of time. All right, so I think I finally got the front alignment sorted out. Uh, I was able to get both driver's side and passenger side to within a few millimeters front and back. I can still tweak it a little bit, but I'll get that dialed in once it's down on the ground. Uh, I haven't even checked the camber on this yet. Still up on the quick jacks, and I got some other stuff going on in the back too, so not about to set it down yet. Uh, but on that note, I am working on rear shock mounts. I did a little quick test piece. Uh, this fits, unfortunately, the factory charcoal canister for the EVAP system does not fit with, they both take up the same space. So we're gonna have to do something about this. This is actually the canister from the Renegade. It bolts right into factory spots, but it's massive. It's right in the way. I just ordered one for the charger. Hopefully that's a little smaller. The charger that I bought as the donor vehicle got hit right in that quarter panel. So the one that came out was just in pieces. Uh, it wasn't even there really. It was just hoses hanging, shards of plastic. So hopefully it's smaller than this. I should be able to tuck it away. But yeah, this thing's all in the way right now. But anyway, this was a really quick, easy project. No fabrication, uh, but I did get a lot of stuff sorted out. Alignment straight now. I got all new parts, all good quality parts, which compared to what came out of it, like this it's garbage. Like, what, what is this? I Yeah, I can't have that on here. So yeah, I'll, I'll eventually be swapping the rears over, but we'll get to that later. So yeah, I, I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. Man, you can't even, these things are massive. Like, I don't know if that comes across in video, but these things are ridiculously big brakes for this little car. But uh, but anyway, uh, I guess I'll leave y'all here. Thanks for following along with the build so far, and I'll see you in the next one.